Hi guys, it's me Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to print these really cool multicolor name blocks for your friends or family and teachers. But first, here are some name blocks I've done before. So first, you go to canva.com. And the next one, click create design, and then click logo. And once that loads, you're going to click text. Add a text box, and then I'm gonna do for Mrs. Coffee. And then you're gonna click this to change the font. And then we're gonna type in Luckiest Guy. And then we're gonna make it bigger so you can see it. And we're gonna put a bear cap hole right here, but you can put whatever object you want, or you can just leave it normal. So we're gonna go to Elements. And I'm just gonna search up paw with balls. I'm gonna use that one. And then I'm gonna shrink it so it's small enough. And then once you think it's good, you can click share, download, and then upload. And then next, you're gonna go to PIC svg.com to turn the your png to a svg and then you click upload a picture and it should be the one at the very top and then you're going to choose whatever one you want but usually internal two or internal three looks best and then once you have it how you like it you click download svg and then now we can bring it to tinkercad so you go to tinkercad.com so once you're in your CAD, you're going to click Create 3D Design. And then once it loads, you're going to bring in this. And then you click Import, Choose File. And it should be the very top one. And then click on Art. And then make it 178, which is about 6, 7 inches. And then click Import. You're going to click on it and make sure the quality is all the way up. And then you're going to make it 0.54 tall. And then you're going to click Control C and then Control V to copy and paste it. And next, you're going to make it 0.47 tall. Click Enter. And in the fill mode, you're going to make it a silhouette. And then Control C, Control V. And then you're gonna keep it at 0.47 tall. And then this time, instead of a silhouette, you're gonna make it an outer line. You're gonna make the line width 0 0.05. And then Control C, Control V. And then this one, you're gonna make it. Point four tall, and then you're gonna keep it as an outer line, but in this time, you're gonna make it point one as a line, and then once, and then you're gonna select all of them, press this button right here to align them, and you click the middle one right there, and then sometimes they have holes in them, like here, and then everything has to be touching for it to print in one piece. So we're just going to bring in a block, and then the pulls are at point 0.4, that's the layer. So make the block point 0.4 tall, and then we're going to drag it over the hole, and then we're going to size it like that, and then bring, switch it over the hole. And then now you're going to select everything, you're going to click export as an STO. So next, you're going to go to Angular Studio, then you're going to click Create New Design, and then you're going to click this button right here to bring in your object, and it should be the top one right there, and then we're going to click Rotate, so it fits on my printer, so like that. 
and then we're going to make ours three colors orange white and black so we're going to make the bottom orange then you click on it click this painting tool then you're going to uh, click height range and then turn this all the way up then i'm going to make the middle white i'm going to make the top black so once it's colored and you like it, you're going to click slash plate, and then we're going to send it, and then go print it. And here it is when it's done. I think it turned out pretty cool, and please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.